Hey you guys, <clears throat> it's me. Wanna give y'all a quick update. We're now in October, girl. This year is going by so fast. Um, we are venturing out a lot more. We're doing a lot more indoor playgrounds, but still being safe. My husband is like, don't get too comfortable. I'm spitting. But my husband is like, don't get too comfortable. I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? I get what he's saying though. So we're, we were going out a lot the past two weeks. But the numbers are slowly, they went down, but then they went, they're trickling back up again because we're getting too comfortable. So now we're going to ease back out, ease back off. And what I mean when we're going out, again, we're wearing our masks, washing our hands. But we went from only going to one or two places a week to going out two, every two or three days. They do a multiple places in one day. We're going to stop that just to be safe. We're going to stop doing that because the numbers are trickling back up. Anyway, y'all, we ain't going to talk about this corona hole. Um, with that being said, JB goes to daycare twice a week now. He has to, y'all. Work is, when I tell y'all, I am forever grateful for my job. But Christine and I are pulling in minimum 10-hour days. We There's no day where we don't work at least 10 hours. From 5 to 4, 5 to 3, 5 in the morning, we're pulling in those hours. It is ridiculously busy right now. And I think, you know, I give all honor and glory to God for blessing me with this job. But we are stressed like her anxiety is high and i told her she needs to stop it because we feed off each other we're close we're friends so we feed off of, off of each other and y'all i'm laughing because she said one day she's like what it was actually this past monday she's like guess what me and my husband did i said what do y'all do she said we just binge watch all your vlogs i said oh hell girl she said in one vlog you were talking about me i'm like oh hell girl what did i say i'm so sorry if i offended you y'all i don't be remembering what i'll be saying in my videos she said no she said no 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 you're funny and it made me feel good because she said they her and her husband watch a lot of different vloggers and by far i'm the most entertaining so i'm like Thank you, Christine. So thank you to Christine's husband for following me and y'all watching my videos. I do appreciate that. So anyway, um, we're busy. We're stressed. Um, it is what it is, y'all. So JB has to go somewhere so I can get my work done. Um, we have started to the point to where I'm homeschooling. Like this past weekend, I homeschooled a little bit, both Saturday and Sunday. I need to stop that because I don't, I feel like I don't have a day off. Cause I'm basically, I'm doing something every day. I need to start scheduling in some me time. I'm too afraid to go to the nail shop. But look at my nails, girl. I did these myself, fall colors. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's come through. These are, they're a little short for me, but they're cute. I need to figure out how to start scheduling some me time, whether it be a bubble bath. Cause even in the mornings, I'm getting up early. It used to be in the mornings, I would get up and relax and have a me time. Now I'm getting up early, doing lesson planning and all this other stuff. So, yeah, you guys, we have started meeting up with other homeschool parents. Um, one of his good friends actually decided, the mom decided to homeschool. But she told me this past weekend that after this year, it's it for them. They're going to go back to school. So... Did it stop? You stopped it. Did it stop? No, I, I did. 
Oh, hi. Oh, look at this. How are you today? Oh, God. Oh, I'm sure all this is fat free, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Zero calories. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm gonna get your stuff on here. Um, is this even though? Why is this not? Is it all right? Y'all, I'm so country acting. Hey, you guys, how you doing? It is Saturday. Um, y'all saw clips of JB was filming child, so I'll have to see what good it is. We went to a, uh oh, is this my Amazon order? No. Amazon just pulled up a behind oh, tell, me. Tell them about that, that, that. I'll tell them about that. <laughs> I'll tell them about that. Um, so, went to go support my girl D. She's selling candles now. Yeah. I bought a candle. I bought a couple of things from other people. Y'all, D, everybody's gained a little weight, but D ain't got thickety thick. She has a type of figure thickety to where <laughs> when she gains weight, she gains it in the right places. So, I was like, dang, girl, you ain't got thick. She said, girl. <laughs> Oh, child, I said, girl, I got, that's why I got this cover on on. Um, Dee is good, people. She used to, or mm. she coordinates the hair store, the hair she shows. Used to keep me? JB, yeah, she used to keep JB. She coordinates the hair events here in Phoenix, and we became really she close, you know. Huh? Uh-huh. We became close, and I started to, you know, we would do favors for each other. Like, I would keep her kids. Sometimes she keeps my little boy when we were, um. Mm. Oh yeah, when JB was younger, I would do workshops for her when she would do the hair events. Oh, sorry, baby. Um, and so I I did it for a while. I did them like three or four years in a row. I didn't do it last year. I offered it this year, and I'm like, hey, you know, and it was supposed to have been in May, of course, due to the, to, due to the coronavirus that was oh, shut down. That that I I can't open it. You can't open it, JB. Keep it here then. Then it was supposed to happen last month. Of course, that was shut down again, and so um. Yeah, she does. D is like a chameleon. She's very, very gifted. When I tell you this girl can do so many things, I mean, uh, candle making now. It was, uh, what was she doing? Hair hair products. We both had our hair products at the same time. Her leave-in spray was honestly one of, the, one of the best sprays I have ever used. She went through a chemist and all of that. And I was like, wow. It was called Quench. Um, she was supposed to go come up with different stuff, but I don't know what happened. Girl, what happens to all of us? Hold on, y'all. Let me get this, baby. Well, we've only been out for like two hours, but, um, child. Okay, so this is what JP wanted me to tell y'all. Y'all have excuse their coloring. So, as we are going into Albertsons, I see this woman with the highest hair. Like, it is like, um, what is her name? Tammy Faye. It's like drag queen high. Like, it is that high, and I'm pretty sure I saw this woman years ago, and she had some crazy-looking wig on. Like, she purposely made it look crazy, and it's a she. So, anyway, so, I'm like, JB, I have to look at this woman's hair. He said, what are you talking about? I said, this woman has the biggest hair so we're walking around y'all i'm not doing this to make fun of the woman because that's not me you know I, I don't purposely make fun of her. that's what she likes that's what she likes and honestly if she would have caught me looking at her i would have been like i love your big hair which i do i love it's a little too big but i love that i love when people go against the norm because i'm pretty sure she gets a lot of stares and a lot of but that's who she so let's is just talk and, about this. so when <laughs> when we were going when we were going in store and i saw her I was, and she had this big hair <laughs> big hair bigger than ain't mama's no, ain't no like small hair like me big hair <laughs> it's not so country y'all go ahead right, baby and, and then and then and then and and then I was acting like a ninja. I was crouching down, walking, and then and then when I saw a wall, I hid behind it. And then and then I was looking at some cars. She was she was over there next to me. Ran ran over here. Ran over here. She and and then and then when we were and then we were and then when we were looking at JB didn't when, wanna when, when we were looking at our chaps and we 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 saw her. We saw her by the chapstick where we were. 
So and then we got to the checkout, mm -hmm. and then and then I was I was at the other side of the railing. Mm -hmm. I looked over the railing. She was there. She was right there at the other side of the railing. Big hair. <laughs> then we got in the car. We 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 driving. Uh, I looked behind me. She was there walking. <laughs> JB said this is like a scary movie a whole, we're being chased by the granny with the big hair I said child oh lord y'all that hair when I tell y'all know me I know big hair girl look at me that hair it was a wig piece is what it was it was a it was actually <laughs> it wasn't like a piece it was a wig it was a whole wig that she turned into a ponytail <laughs> y'all she turned into a bless her heart bless her heart all right boo boo Three things. Pick out three things. Three things. Come on, sweetheart. Three you want me to help? nail polish. A nail polish. Okay. And Let me some look. conditioner. Conditioner. Pick out any any of those. Pick. Okay. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> we can do this back here, okay? And then we're gonna go fill up some water stuff and really learn about capacity. So okay. okay. So if you look at this. Look, look underneath in very small print. It says a number and then FL. Do you see it? You probably can't see it on there. No, I don't see it. Let me show you. See where my fingernail is at? Hold on, baby. See where my fingernail is at? Right where my fingernail. You see it? You see it now? A number. Do you see the number? What it is that? Says, you see, it's right there. Oh, oh my no. gosh. What does it say? It says I can, it says it says three five two seven Z zero or O Z. Mm-hmm. And and one hump and it says a one and a K and a G and then another hump. Another hump. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, huh? That's a lot. So that means that it, and you can tell it's a lot because feel it. Hold it. See how heavy it is. Now, which one is heavier? This one or this one? Which one is heavier by weight? That one is? Yeah. Chill. Oh, you know why? I'm so sorry. That's because I've used this. That's why. All right, baby. So we're going to try to fill up this vitamin E oil Look. blend. What does it say? What number is at the bottom of that oil blend? It's from Trader Joe's. <laughs> right, but what number is at the bottom of it? What number four. do you see? 40. So that means it's four ounces, okay? So okay. if I if I could look at it, I guess about one tablespoon. You want a spoon? Would you like a spoon? No. Because how oh, I'm, child, you don't need to put that in there. We're gonna put all of these in here. Okay. Oh, so let's pour. So let's you're gonna need this a spoon. Place. Wait a minute, you ain't gonna put no lights all in my hair. I'm a happy uh, I'm gonna sit on you. Okay, so let's so you, we're gonna use a spoon. No, we're not. See, we're not. You're not. No. Okay. Not so pour a little, squirt a little bit of each oil into this measuring cup. Okay. Word. Is it squirting out? Yeah. All righty. Okay. Now that's more than enough. Now put a few sprinkles of fifteen. Oh, child, you. Child, that's enough. Get pour it very slowly. There you go. Name um, one thing you learned about capacity. Wait. Wait. Okay. Good job. And that most products have what on it? Number. Yeah. That list is how much it weighs. Good job, Jenny. Look at your lollipop. High five. Now that was fun, honey. That was still that was still learning. Oh, you feel cute. Look at your fat self. I mean, not fat, y'all. You know, you're so chubby. You're so chubby. Oh, you're so squishy. Ooh. Ooh. We have to wash this hair. Lord have mercy. We're gonna wash our hair tonight. 
Okay, it's a storm coming, JB. I can't believe it's bouncing. You found the flip phone, yeah. It's a storm coming. Oh my god! Do not cut through the corn. They said to stay on. Which way we're we gonna go? Let's go this way. How do you get up there? Wave, say hi. Oh, Lego chickens. Do they lay eggs like a Hey, you guys. So, we are chow cleaning these rooms because we're having our carpet replaced. You can tell this carpet looks horrible. This is the carpet that came with the house. Um, this is what it originally looked like and yeah we had a little bit of water damage here which is why it's doing that um so we have to really my husband was like how are you gonna get all this stuff out you know girl i told you was scratching his stomach looking around at all this stuff but we managed to get everything out um and the color is very nice good morning good morning good morning you guys i'm in jv's room trying to be quiet because it's still early in the morning girl let me switch to this hand because baby Today we're getting our carpet installed. You can see that girl. Hey Amen. We're getting the carpet installed. And I'm gonna have to speak to my husband and tell him, look, you know, he gave me a heads up what he's thinking about, how he was looking. I'm gonna have to explain to him, this needs to be it for a while, y'all, because, because I'm at home and I work from home, he feels like, oh, you could be home with them and, you know, manage everything. No, you need to stop this. So, cause I think this would have been the third the third house project we've done this year and two in the middle of a pandemic. I'm gonna tell them now, this needs to be it. We need to wait. The only thing else that I think we have left to do is to redo the cabinets. We need to wait. There's no rush to do anything. It's not a priority, but it's it's still a, another stressor. So um, I think it needed, we definitely need new carpet, but do we need it now? You know what I mean? So. I don't know how many people are going to be up in this house, but I know they better be wearing a mask, okay? So they should be coming in like three more hours. I want to run and get JP some breakfast before they come here. He ate all his little raggedy ass cereal last night. I guess he could have some oatmeal, but yeah. Um, we've been doing, so this is what we do when it's kind of shaking up in the household like this. So for example, yesterday we do something, we have to do something every day. So yesterday we worked on his little project and we did language arts. Okay. We read two books. Um, today we would do math, which will be an online modules. Okay. Um, and a little bit of reading tomorrow, you know, getting the house in order tomorrow, he's going to go to child care. Then we're going to go in Thursday and Friday and we're going to do a little bit of math, a little bit of language arts. And then starting next week, whatever I had planned for this week, we'll be doing next week if that makes sense. You know, going hard. I gave him a heads up. We're going to be going hard starting next week. And he's like, anyway, <laughs> um, 
y'all. So he woke up at like three o'clock in the morning, which is okay because I typically wake up between four and 4.30. Lately I have been, but baby, he woke up with a little nosebleed. Um, I took him to the couch and we both slept on the couch till six, but I slept jacked up to where here all the way to the middle of my back is was strenuous. Say, I don't know if this is just something, you know, with with y'all know how they say deaths come death comes in threes. It has been ridiculous. So many losses. And I know you guys have experienced or know people who've had so many losses. Someone that I know and I used to work with at David's Bridal. Um I'm not gonna say her name, but she's a sweet girl and we used to always help each other like she was considered a, I was a bridal consultant and she was considered a junior consultant. But one thing I noticed is that all of the junior consultants were Latino. They were without worker bees and the bridal consultants were typically uh, white, except for me and one other girl, right? I just found that really odd now. But anyway, the bridal consultants, some of the bridal consultants consider themselves a little bit higher um and this was in a certain area of phoenix paradise valley where it's a little bit paradise valley is very interesting it's a, it's on the it's on the cusp of on the edge of scottsdale but scottsdale have ch has changed here in in um phoenix it used to be that you have to be in a certain economic status to live there now girl you could be making forty thousand dollars and boom, I, I'm, I live in Scottsdale, girl, but we used to live in Scottsdale about, before we moved here actually, before we purchased a house. Girl, what's the point? Get to the point. Anyway, this junior consultant, I will always have the junior consultant. So the junior consultants were responsible for rearranging all the shoes, the, the jewelry, the veils. Y'all, working in a bridal store is no joke. It's a lot of physical work because those dresses can be heavy, baby. Um. We had to go through the racks and rearrange all those dresses. When I tell you my body would be sore, my body would be sore, yeah. So I would help them though. At the end of the shift, I would make sure and go over, you know, I'm like, you know, do you guys need any help? They're like, yeah. So I would help them. And they would say, Vivian, you like, you're the only one that helps us. Those are the girls. And I'm like, girl, I'll help you. But anyway, one of them, her husband, when was it last week her husband had a work injury and fell into a coma y'all when i read that i felt so bad i started reaching out to her i said girl i'm praying for you and your family because she has three small ones like i think her oldest one is jb's age but the other two are babies like one is two another one's four he slipped into a coma there was no brain activity and they pulled the plug three days ago and when i read that i felt so bad for her then I get on two days ago and my homegirl Kirby said, I need thoughts and prayers. My brother's in the um, burn unit. I'm like, oh my God, y'all. So there's a message in this. And, and when that happened, when I read that, I started getting a lump in my throat because I'm already, because Kirby's a good friend of mine too. And I was like, girl, I said, you know what? And then a part of me said, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of praying over people. I just wanted to stop. And the Holy Spirit checked me and said, don't you ever cease praying. Do not ever cease praying. So y'all, this is going to be happening. We are not mortal. You know, we are not living forever. Just because we are Christians don't mean that everything's going to be perfect. Doesn't mean that everything around us is going to be perfect. We cannot stop praying and praying over people. Really so like, check myself and be like, okay. One hunt girl lost her husband. This one's um, brother is up is, you know, in the burn unit. I'm praying over them. I'm praying over them constantly. Last night, yeah, I know, I know. Last night, I get an urgent request. Vivian, you need to cancel all these classes. So and so had a family emergency. I said, what? I said, what? What? What's going on? You know, I. I and the manager came back. She said, it's so hard, but her brother just suddenly, her, her sibling, one of her siblings just suddenly died. I said, you know what? So that's why I said it comes in threes, right? 
I said, wow. But regardless, if it comes in threes, twos, ones, fours, whatever, we always need to continue to pray over people and lift them up in this time and letting them know that God has the last say. Um, and ultimately, which is so hard, y'all. And I look, I started crying again over something I saw a um, uh, preview of a movie that um, Viola Davis and Chadwick Bosman and some other people. It has a great cast in. I started crying again over him. But I read a. I'm not sure if it's true because you can't believe everything on the, on the on uh, the interweb. I read a post from his brother. His brother is apparently is a pastor or a preacher, or something like that, a man of God, basically. And his brother was like, the day before he died, Chadwick came to me and said, "I need to let him go. I need to let him go." And at the end of the day, sometimes we be praying for a miracle and praying for that person to be healed. But what's so hard? What is so hard is to pray for that God's will be done. Because that person's tired. That, that person that you're praying over to be healed, they may be tired and suffering, especially if it's cancer. So, yeah, we may be praying for a healing because we want them here with us. But at the end of the day, we have to trust in, in the Lord and know that he um, knows what's best for us. More importantly, knows what's best for that person. Now, y'all, yeah, now I'm crying because it can hurt to see someone suffering, especially like with an illness and you want them to be healed. You got to let them go. And nine times out of 10, especially with me. And y'all know those of you who work in the medical field, uh, me working for in hospice. Most of the time, when you let that person go, they go ahead and die peacefully. Um, they be holding on for other people. They don't be holding on for themselves. They're holding on for their family and their loved ones. They do not hold a child, please. They don't. So I'm having to really reflect and think about my prayers. Okay, maybe I, I at the end of the day, I, you know, I changed my prayer for my one friend. I said, just Lord, strengthen her, give her the strength, give her peace, and let your will be done. I can no longer, you know, I don't want this person to suffer. Yes, I'm sure she wishes she had her husband back, but, you know, same thing with my girlfriend and her, and her I think it's her brother in a burn unit. His brother, his body's covered with burns, you know, I'm praying for a healing. It's rough, y'all. It's rough in these, it's rough, y'all. It really is, so... Um, on to a brighter note. I'm gonna go ahead in here and get my coffee. I need to drink some water. I can feel dehydrated. Drink some more water. Girl, I guess that oxycodone work, child. I only did half of it, cause look, um, that's the oxy from my breast reduction. I don't play around with those drugs, y'all. Just give me a little bit. Um, that's especially pain medication. I do not play around with, I just want a little bit. Um, and that's probably all I would take, okay? So let me go ahead and hear y'all wake this baby up. Go take him to get some breakfast real quick. Um, I think we got to move our two side tables out of our our bedroom. Um, everything is good. So I'll show y'all what the carpet looks soon, okay? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Looks nice, huh? Yeah, I'm not in the house. Huh? This is my room. Uh-huh, your room. Oh, do you like your bed like this, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah? You I like it? I want my bed. You know what? I want I want some sort of nightstand right here. Okay. We'll put the other nightstand right there.